basically every single Chinese person know that a green hat means that you are being cheated by your partner. It doesn't mean good luck or anything else. So if you have heard it from your Chinese partner, you definitely want to check this out. Hi, 大家好，我是简。Welcome back to my channel, the one and only place where you can learn Chinese in a fun and efficient way. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss anything from me. Now, in today's video, I want to talk about the most important Chinese culture taboos. Now, if you have Chinese people in your life, or if you want to go to China, you're learning Chinese, you definitely, definitely want to know about this, or at least be aware of this, because this is so, so, so important. Now, let's get started. Let's. Go. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the green hat. Green hat in Chinese is 绿帽子绿帽子 The verb phrase wearing a green hat or to put on a green hat is 戴绿帽子戴绿帽子 If you want to say I am putting a green hat on you, you can say 我给你戴绿帽子我给你戴绿帽子 That literally means that I am cheating on you. I am cheating on you. Okay. So a green hat doesn't mean anything else. It doesn't mean good luck. It doesn't mean fortune. It doesn't mean anything else. Every single Chinese person know about this. So actually, one of my friends,、um, whose girlfriend, tell him that the green hat is. Means good luck, and every time she going out having a, a fire, she would literally say that I'm I'm going to put a green hat on you to bring you luck. So <laughs> later on, my friend found out what green hat literally means. He confront with the girlfriend and find out the girlfriend has been cheating on him all the time. So um, if you have Chinese friend or Chinese partners. Who mentioned green hat? You probably want to check that out. There are a couple of things that you don't want to give your Chinese friends as a gift. First, you would definitely not want to give a clock to your Chinese friend, because a clock in Chinese is zhong zhong. To give a clock to your friends as a gift is song zhong song zhong. Song Zhong literally sounds the same as this one. Song Zhong, Song Zhong. You can see it's different characters, but pronounce it the same. Now, Song Zhong actually means see somebody away in the funeral. Okay, so this is the huge, huge, huge Chinese taboo that you would never want to do. You would never want to do. You would never want to say. Okay, never give a clock to your Chinese. Friend, really, really bad. However,、uh, you can give a watch as a gift. That is totally okay. Everybody like a lovely, luxurious watch. Another thing that you don't want to give your Chinese friend as a gift is the umbrella. The umbrella. The umbrella in Chinese is san, san, and it's quite similar to the word san, san. It's different tones, but it's quite similar. Sad means being separated, being divided, being separated, being divided. So you definitely don't want to be divided or separated from your friends. Next thing that you don't want to give your Chinese friend as a gift is shoes. Now, shoes in Chinese is xie.、Uh, it's not because the pronunciation is similar to anything bad. It's just. In Chinese culture, we kind of think if you give somebody the shoes, you are sending them away. You know, you are driving them away because they can walk away in the shoes. So it is a culture aspect thing. But I feels like, especially for younger generation in China, we don't really care about this one. We do like expensive shoes or like sporty sneakers. So this one is less important and less. So where I would say. Now the next thing that we're going to talk about is related to the numbers. The number four in Chinese is the worst. We hate, hate, hate it. Now four in Chinese we pronounce it as s, s, s. It sounds really, really similar to the word s, s, 
which means death. Now the tones are different, but it sounds really similar. That's why we hate, hate, hate the number four. So in a lot of buildings, especially like hotels, business buildings, you couldn't find the uh, floor four in the elevator. Sometimes they use like a letter F, or sometimes it's just a blank in the elevator. Uh, another thing is that you will never find a uh, room number 44 or 444 because it's extremely bad luck. On the other hand, the number 6 is a great number, it's super super lucky. The number 6 in Chinese we pronounce it as Liu. Liu. So this is lucky because in the phrase Liu Liu Da Shun. Liu Liu Da Shun. It means super, super, super lucky. So the number six considered as super lucky in Chinese. Um, so the number liu 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 means extreme lucky in China. It's totally different from the Western world. So be careful about that one. Another thing about the number liu liu liu, the three six liu 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 in China become an internet slang. <laughs> it also become like an emoji. Liu, liu, liu. It basically means dope, super dope, like that. It's really funny. And another lucky number in China is eight. 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 It pronounces eight as ba, ba. This one is very similar to the word fa, fa. Fa in Chinese uh, can indicate we'll have a big fortune soon. So the number eight, ba will represent you will have a huge fortune soon. That's why if you are in China, you can see a lot of people pay a lot of money to get a car registration number to 6666 or 8888. Yes. The last thing I want to talk about today is you don't want to share a pair with your loved ones or your friends because pair in Chinese is li, li. So it sounds exactly the same as the word li, li. This li, you can see again, this is the different characters. This li actually means to be divided, to be separated. So if you say to share a pair, in Chinese the phrase is fen li, fen li. It sounds exactly like fen li, again, different character. The fen li means being separated, being divided. So you definitely don't want to divide it or separate it from your loved ones. Again, this one is, I feel like with time kind of fade away, like a lot of young, younger generation don't really care about this one. So again, this one is not that serious. Now that's it for today. And the most important two things, the first thing is about a green hat, and the second thing is about a clock. Never give a clock to a Chinese friend as a gift. Very, very, very important. Now, China is really, really big and we have a huge, huge, huge population. Different region has their own different culture and different culture have their own culture taboos. So if your friends are coming from a very traditional part of China or coming from a very traditional family, you definitely maybe want to have a chat with them to talk about um, what kind of culture taboo they have. It is actually a really interesting topic. So. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my future videos. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> today's homework. For today's homework, can you tell me other culture taboos that you heard about China? I will see if you got it right or wrong. And also I will see how much you know about the Chinese culture. Okay, bye bye.